welcome back to another crawl space diaries we're getting ready to head on to the house got my tyvex flashlights headlamp go gopro case and my gloves my head cover respirator and we are going to head down there check out this situation give the customer a price to get it all fixed up stay tuned i'll get the camera turned on once i'm all suited up before i head down all right so we're all suited up got my ninja outfit on and we're getting ready to head underneath the house stay tuned all right so we're getting ready to head on all right so we made it in and now we're going to start our inspection down here doing the inspection and, uh, previous company said there was subterranean termites so they wanted a second opinion and that's why I'm here and man I always hate to be the bearer of bad news but we definitely are going to use integrity for when we do our inspections. So let me show this to you guys. Sorry for the noise. So look. That is dry wood termites. This house has to be tinted. I am still doing my inspection. I have not found the subterranean termites yet, but it definitely has What in the world do you think that is? Man, that's quite large. A cat come down here and die or something? That's crazy. Well, found the toy. Doesn't work no more. Well guys, I found some more dry wood turnbuckles right along the stem wall there. You can see the pellets. So we've got positive for dry wood. Now it looks like we got subterraneans there as well. So looks like I found the subs. For sure we found the dry woods. So well, well guys, I think I found the other part of that. Yellow toe, look at that. Maybe a cat did come up in here, up in here and die. Crazy. Tube. Look at that mud tube. This is why you have to be very thorough on your inspection. Look at that where that evidence is at. Wow, I found some more here. the mud in between the wood so found the subterranean termites and we got some more here check it out found them guys check it out guys You think that could have been caused by those earthquakes we were having not long ago? Look at this ground. Crazy. Could have been caused by the earthquake. That's what I think. So guys, here's, here's the leak. We got a leak. All this needs to get fixed up. 
this here. We're going to need to scrape and treat this blocker here. We're going to need to replace. Look at this floor. But they still have an extra. So you can actually see it dripping. We got a puddle of water there. And that's what attracts termites the moisture in the ground and this fungus. This is why it is so important to get annual inspections because you want to catch this before it's too late and you have a lot of issues. So this is a good reason on having an annual inspection every 12 months. Call us to get your annual termite inspection. So that was there. Look, this is all fungus dry rot damage. The previous company called this subterranean damage. This is not subterranean damage. There's no dirt. This is all fungus dry rot. Look at this. Now, I found the subs, and I found dry woods, and I found this fungus dry rot. So, what you guys need to understand is when you call Red X Pest Control, even though sometimes the truth hurts, we're just a messenger. And we've got people trying to save money, which I get, I understand. But with all integrity, I can't, I have to call all this. That's my profession. I'm a professional. My license is I got to call all this out. And if another company comes down here and says otherwise, they got to stand by their word. I'm going to stand by mine. This is one of the reasons why I do video. That way I have all the documentation I can show the customer. With the company previous call, this is fungus dry rot damage. Here's your active, your active leak. This is what it's causing, this puddle of water, which is causing moisture which is attracting the termites, which is causing that efflorescence. So this is why it's important, guys, to get inspections so we can fix this before it's a problem. This is all moisture damage. This is what happens when you let when you don't get inspections, I know I'm being redundant, but you guys need to see what happens when you don't get your inspections. Then it costs a lot of money to fix it. Okay guys, check it out. This is subterranean damage. That is an active mud tube. Look at, look at, that is a mud tube. These are mud tubes, okay? Look at that. So this is subterranean termite damage. Do you see the difference? You see how those galleries are smooth and clean and there's dirt? What I showed you previously was fungus dry rot damage over there where that active leak is at. This is subterranean damage. Look at that. All subterranean damage. Look at that. Look at that highway. Look at that. Those are all mud tubes. Look at that.
more moisture issues from a leak. All this has got to get fixed. 